guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I am doing a vlog. I'm going to just show what we're doing this weekend. We have some pretty exciting plans and I'm excited to bring you guys along. So in a little while I'm going to be heading to town to pick up some ducks. That is the main exciting thing this weekend. That's what I've been Looking forward to all week, waiting for the weekend to get here. I put an ad out in search of Muscovy ducks because there's not very many around here that were listed or they were really expensive or just a little too far away to drive to get. So a guy called me a couple days ago and he's in, he's like three hours away, but he said he would bring four hens and a drake and drive them down here and only charged me $45 for everything, which is like a really good deal just for the ducks, not to mention the fact that he's driving them from Kalispell. So I agreed to meet him about 30 minutes away from here. He's in the town, he has errands in anyway, so I'm just gonna make it a little easier on him and drive some other way. So I have to head up there and meet him at one to pick up the ducks. And Luke has been working on filling the ditches in the pasture so that next year when we hay it, it's a little bit easier on the equipment. So a lot of filling ditches and we need to get some area ready for the ducks because it was kind of an unexpected kind of spur of the moment thing that we decided on this week. So he's going to make them a little house. We have a little area they can be in for today so they don't like fly away because they're in a new area. And then we'll let them out tomorrow. So I'm just really excited and excited to vlog this weekend and introduce you guys to our new ducks. I, I raised ducks growing up and I'm so excited to have them again. They're so fun to watch and they're gonna be thrilled to have a pond. They're gonna be living right near our pond. So it's gonna just be so fun to sit out there and watch them. They are such characters. Here's little Vivian just hanging out with mama. Look at those neck rolls, wow. She was such a tiny little thing when she was first born, five pounds, 10 ounces, and she's over nine pounds now. And she's just growing so fast and she's getting some little chubs and it's so cute. I just can't stand it. It's making me want to get pregnant again already. The kids came in for lunch. They've been helping daddy dig dirt and fill ditches. Were you helping daddy? Yeah. Is it fun? No. Yeah. <laughs> You're goofy. I don't even know if I'm gonna hear from this guy again. That was just so weird that 
Maybe you're just one of those people who doesn't carry a cell phone, so you can't get contacted, so you can't contact me to let me know that you had a delay or whatever. It did seem a little good, too good to be true that he was going to give me four hands and a drink and deliver them from three hours away for $45. So I don't know what was up with that. If he was, if it was some sort of scammy person just trying to waste my time. Who knows? So we're almost back home and try not to feel too sad, but we'll still find something to do to be productive today. I need to do some business work when we get back and I'm excited to see what Luke's done while I'm gone. idiot and the guy called me from a town pump somewhere in Stevensville I think saying he's driving this way but he doesn't know where he's going he's gonna keep trying until we make contact I cannot believe I didn't have my phone so now I'm just gonna head to the local grocery store because that was where we were originally gonna meet until he asked me to come a little further his way <laughs> so who knows what's going on hopefully he stops at another gas station and calls me soon because I don't even know where he wants to meet at this point so hopefully at some point we end up with some ducks but this is getting ridiculous <laughs> it's a good thing i didn't have anything going on today that i had to do because other otherwise this would be really annoying well we got ducks <laughs> that was such a big fiasco I'm trying to get those i finally found him at the grocery store parking lot he was passing by and we waved at each other no way that's like crazy that I we just happened to find each other we didn't even know what each other looked like and they followed me back home because they're kind of wild they probably would have gotten loose in the parking lot if we tried to transfer them like that and that would have been really bad so there's one big drake that's white and and gray he's really pretty and then there's four white hens one is the mother and then the three are her babies so, and then the other person came and brought their three hens. So there's a white and silver one, and then there's, and then there's two white and brown ones. So those are really cool too. So we have seven hens and a drake now. That is quite the nice flock, and I still can't believe what a fiasco that was. And I thought for sure after I came back home that first time that we just weren't gonna get those. I thought it was like some sort of scam or something. But we have all our ducks and they're so pretty and so many different colors and I cannot wait to let them out on the pond tomorrow morning. That is gonna be quite the exciting sight. So I will definitely film that when, when we do that. Right now Luke's putting up some fencing on the other side of the pond so they can't leave. And before we let them loose, we'll clip their wings so they can't fly. And we have a little bit of rabbit fencing to put up on the existing uh, barbed wire fence so they can't get through that. So just a little patching up to do, but it should be all done by morning and we can let them out then. My whole day was taken up with trying to find this guy with the ducks. So. It's the next day now, and we've been working for a while now. We got um, the duck's temporary house with perches in it and straw, and Luke cut a little door in it so they can come in and out. We realized that the four smallest ducks can get through the fence in an area, so we need to put some electric fence over it temporarily until they get used to that this is their home. Right now, Luke is putting in the big posts for their permanent house. We're gonna be making it out of wooden fencing posts and pellets and slab wood. It's gonna look really cool. So 
that's what Luke's working on now, and I'm just out there hanging out with the kids. The ducks went in the pond for the first time, which was really exciting. It's really fun to see them swimming in there. And yeah, just a lot of outside farm work to do today. We just got home from church and I thought I would show you guys how the duck coop is coming along. Lou got quite a bit of it done yesterday and I just forgot to show you guys before it got too dark. So I'm here inside the shed. So he's got these roof beams on. This is the tall side that he has framed out with these big fence posts. And we have pallets along all the walls. We're building it right off this fence right here. So that's part of the support. There's pallets here and this will be the door we have a door with glass in it that we'll use for the doorway there. On the outside of the pallets, we're putting some tarps just to make it windproof because the very outside we're lining it with logs, like half logs, those big slabs. So just between the slab wood and the pallets, there would still be gaps. So we're just putting a tarp in between the pallets and the slab wood. So that'll help just finish windproofing it. So we just have to finish putting the slab wood on, put the metal roof on, put the door in, and then it'll be ready for them to live in. And we have to, we're gonna line both long sides with nest boxes and a perch right on top of it. So I'm pretty excited. This pen will be able to hold a lot of ducks. So we'll be able to expand the flock, flock pretty well. We temporarily added a little door here on this little coop and a couple of perches in the middle so they can live in this until their big coop's done. But this is the first time they've gone in it by themselves. This is so exciting. And there's actually a rooster living with them, which is so funny. He got kicked out of the flock because we have a more dominant rooster that doesn't like him. So apparently he's gonna live with the ducks. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. We had a really good weekend. It was really productive. We got ducks, which is so exciting. There was fencing done and all kinds of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we did this weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.